I experienced one month in a wheelchair to see life from a different point of view. I'm writing a book of short stories to help teenagers identify with themselves. With the help of therapy dogs, we shared our love for animals and brought happiness to hospital patients and children. I choreographed, learned, and filmed a Spanish ballroom routine. I cut sugar out of my diet to bring awareness of the epidemic of diabetes in America. I wrote, directed, and produced a dramatic horror on teenage revenge. I created a piece of experimental short fiction. I built a community of readers with over a thousand subscribers by making videos about books on YouTube. We decided to explore the upsides and downsides of being naturally quiet by taking vows of silence and making an effort to speak up more. I devoted my mornings to composing an excessively complicated jazz piece. I designed a reusable bag to do my part and encourage others to do their part in saving the ocean. I put together a group of York musicians and we mentored students from a middle school band in Marina. I've been producing original music using Logic Pro. I published a children's book for third graders. We brought our voices together to celebrate the elderly in our community. I taught myself my native language in order to connect with my Armenian heritage. We performed a series of random good deeds to spread happiness in the Monterey Peninsula. I learned to DJ and create mixes for schools on a tight budget. I created a fan fiction novella which once and for all discerns who is superior, Sherlock Holmes or Hannibal Lecter. I produced a music video through YouTube and promoted it through Kickstarter. I've been sharing my Japanese language learning experience with tapes in my blog for other passionate learners. We reached across the Atlantic and built connections with European pen pals in order to experience world culture and language firsthand. I created a documentary about our school's therapy dog, Cleo. I created a blog that visually documented the progression of different art projects. I wrote a contemporary free verse response to a 19th century Latvian epic poem. I delivered joy and compassion to senior citizens in the form of handmade paper gifts. We provided the homeless people of Salinas with blankets, jackets, and other warm clothing. I learned how to program in Java in order to help pursue a career in computer science. I collected and donated used clothing to raise awareness about secondhand stores. I created a question and answer website that provides easy to understand explanations for complex math problems. I taught fourth and fifth graders about entomology and the importance of insects in the environment. I designed and built a website and web store for Pacific Military Arms and Service. We collected athletic equipment so everybody can have the opportunity to play sports. I documented my failure at trying new things in order to inspire others to reach beyond their expectations. I created a series of videos to help eradicate transphobia and educate people about the trans community. As a fencing coach, I'm bringing an exciting and dynamic sport to my community. I am writing a calculator app for the Android that will have enough security to be used during tests. When we looked at the modern day interpretations of the Grim Fairy Tales, we saw a world glossed over by Disney Tales, and decided to bring back the great Grim Tales with a webcomic. I recorded and edited multiple pieces from different genres of music, and played them with my own cello quartet. I taught dance classes in order to provide underprivileged children with a fun source of exercise. We cooked and photographed exotic dishes, and shared them with our growing Instagram fan base. 